Hello everybody and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. The game keeps putting us down, but we're gonna get back up just like Bruce Wayne does. Uh, we got some new recruits. Big Mac, our new occultist. Decent heal, some decent uh, a hard noggin. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he's a, a decent character. We also have Sophia. It's a new class we haven't dealt with yet, the Grave Robber, so she's got a pick to the face attack. A lunge that moves us forward into uh, into the front line. We got like a blight attack and we got a, a self-heal, well essentially like a self-buff that cures bleed and blight. So hey, not too bad. What I want to do today is have like a nice run. So, by the way, I'm dressed for work and this is like early morning for me. I got up early on purpose just to play a run here because I, I want to keep playing. Kind of the, the more the game hits me in the face, I want to keep going. Uh, you know, just the hardest. So, what are we doing? We have two options. We can roll like a higher level party with Silver and Bravo and I think that's a good shout. So if we have a good level 3 mission, we'll go for it. We do have a medium one. Plus 50% food consumed. That seems pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but lots of deeds. Complete 100% of room battles. It's a medium mission. Seems a little bit challenging, but we have like a, a very solid party. And we could roll like Zionich, who's got like a good stress heal, which I leveled up by the way. So this is level 2 stress heal, right here. You are, um, you are a pretty good unit, actually. Why don't we do that? Alright. No thinking, just doing. Medium Warrens mission. We haven't been to the Warrens yet, I, I don't think. So we'll see what, what that's like. Uh, but we'll bring plenty of food. Because honestly, we have the cash. And uh, we really need like a, a success. <laughs> Big time. Uh, we got a medicinal herb, so that's gonna be alright. We'll pack two stacks of torches. And we should be golden here. Let's see how it goes. Cross your damn fingers, because <laughs> three disasters in a row could be just kind of... Heartbreaking. We'll, we'll pull through. I think we have a solid composition here. Zionich from the third position can stress heal. They breed quickly. Can also down bleed there in attack. The dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. He can also bleed attack. We have a stun on Cat, but that's it. And uh, actually, we have a stun on Silver too. So decent overall party. Who's our trap? Master is gonna be Bravo. And of course, Cat is the one hit by the trap. <laughs> With a singular she, she just has the worst luck. Silver, as always, greedy as hell. Does give us the map. Which is good. So we know we gotta go in here for the for the room battle. Just how it is. Our first battle. Okay, so this is new stuff. Uh, I haven't fought these guys. Large Corpse Eater. That's disgusting. This is just a regular run-of-the-mill Corpse Eater. <laughs> uh, they have super high bleed resist, so we're not gonna be doing that. Uh, honestly, I wanna kill the Large Corpse Eater, I think. Let's try that, because Silver can only hit the front guy anyways. Ew. Ew. They have blight attacks. We didn't really prepare for that that much. Can you be stunned? You cannot be stunned. Uh, we can judgment for damage. And I think we will at this point. Nine damage is nothing to scoff at. Okay, we resisted the bleed, I appreciate that. I don't think we have any anti-venom, which is... You know, I didn't know we would need for for this place. Decent damage, decent damage. We're gonna need, like, at least another turn, though, to, to bring him down. What is... 
the damage you're gonna deal is minimum, so I kind of want to stress heal. Because you got a little bit of nasty stress there. My idea is that we have enough stress healing and HP healing How quickly the tide to kind of stay on top of things. But of course, the blight is not something I accounted for. Ew. I'm glad we dodged that. That looked to be really nasty. Nice crit. Ground Let's quakes. go. Uh, I mean, Zionich can get the kill. I think it's valuable. Size alone does not dissuade the shot. Even got a blade. bleed on the next dude. It's fantastic. Drop me a heal here. Oh, uh, oh, this is bad. <laughs> Well, Silver cannot actually attack the back line at all. The only thing he can do is hit the corpse. You Nice resist. Please resist the... Oh, nice. If he hadn't resisted, we would have like twice the, the, the blight going on. Can we potentially kill you? If we deal 4 damage and we get the bleed, that's gonna be a kill, so... Yeah, that was the only way we <laughs> we got the kill and we did manage to get it, so... I do think we gotta... You know what? Ah, I don't know. This is difficult. Cat is essentially one of the only people that can deal damage, but we gotta start healing up. Taking way too much damage with the blights. No, The miss is just heartbreaking for us. Alright, so the corpse is gone. We're gonna be able to focus the guy in the back now. Give me a good shot. Okay, that's a good one. It's a good one. And the kill. Surges as the enemy crumbles. That guy's dead too. Not too bad. Grab that. As victories mount. So too. Chest with your family sigil. Sure. Deeds. That's super valuable for us. Alright, first room battle done. Not too bad, all things considered. Such gonna use this. Are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. So we're gonna avoid this hallway battle at the very least. Ooh, what is this? Swine gore. Monsters with stealth. This is new, by the way. Monsters with stealth have a shadowy appearance and cannot be hit by direct attacks, but are vulnerable to area of effect attacks. Additionally, some hero skills, such as the shield breakers expose, can hit them while in stealth. These skills have the additional benefit of de-stealthing the monster. Okay. Well, not sure how we're gonna deal with that. What is that debuff? Minus dodge. Okay. So... Okay, so one option is we can Grape Shot Blast, and that should hit that guy as well. But I think maybe we ignore him for now. And go for the back line. I'm a little bit unsure what the best approach is. Let's try that. We'll try going for the back line, see how it goes. Because I think these guys can actually give you diseases. That's something that I really want to avoid. Nice dodge. So this will actually land, I think, because it's an AoE attack. And we got the bleed too, that's not bad. We could actually get a kill on you. We'll not get the kills uh, like right off the bat. And we gotta heal, because we're going a little bit low. Alright, the vomit is the disease attack, I think. 
Looks like we resisted it. Alright, so good job on the dodges. Uh, I'm feeling like a grape shot blast. Press this advantage. Gets the kill the there. No quarter. Does a little bit of damage to that guy. And then like this will actually maybe get us real close to killing you. Ah, you missed. That's bad. Hook where it hurts. Whoa! Reeling. About to break. Fucking balls, man. Okay, so this is dangerous. This is a combo they have, apparently. Minus disease resist is bad, because now this guy could actually give us diseases. Well, I will heal you. Heal you. We'll take care of that bleed. I would love to kill you, but I, I don't see how I can do that. You have high stun resist, so we'll just deal damage. Not going super well. Please don't disease. Please. Oh, my God. Urgh. Ooh, the bleed again. That's bad. Let's try the harvest. To get the bleed and got rid of the corpse. So it's something. Oh man. Okay, the fight is lasting way longer than than we would like it to. I think a grape shot blast puts you within kill range. This is two damage. Let's try that. Yeah. So both of you are gonna die from the bleeds. We desperately need to heal. We'll expand our last bandage. The death by inches. Okay. Should be a kill. Yeah, it's a kill. The slow death, unforeseen. Ooh, well, let's heal some stress, probably from from Michelle. Wait, this is cat, isn't it? Yeah, Slowly, this is cat. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Here we go on to our next uh, room battle. Very low on HP. Okay, we're gonna heal up ever so slightly on our jester. Not great, but we're gonna have to make it work. Packs right. laden with loot are often low on supplies. Oh, here we go. Next room battle. Oh, shit. Hulking swine tar. That looks real bad. That looks so bad. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Um, I think we want to get rid of you. Although, like, the swine spawn... Seems like a terrible thing to deal with as well. Okay. Oh. Decisions, decisions. Nice crit. So, luckily, we're gonna get rid of that guy pretty quickly. I don't think we can do anything but heal with Cat. Cannot hit the guy in the back. We could potentially get a bleed going. I think that's gonna be like the best way to deal with this guy. Because we also have a bleed attack on Bravo. Oh. Oh man, that's so bad. We're stunned and in the back line. That is like the worst possible situation. We cannot do anything from the back. Oh, okay. Well, we can do all of our shit. Uh, with Bravo, though, so that's something, I suppose. Um, let's heal up. Keep building a bleed on this dude. Ah, actually, we should have... Ah, I screwed up. We should have finished the guy on the back. 
Ooh. The Warrens is a nasty place, man. It's real bad. I will do this. Get rid of that guy. Build a bleed. Move our our crusader a little bit forwards. Keep bleeding. Impressive. Oh, I appreciate the bleed. We got eight damage rolling every turn on him now. Can you stop though? What? Do we have something that makes us more prone to be stunned? God damn, man. This is just real bad. Uh, bypass his stealth. Well. Oh, we we could only attack this guy that for some reason we can't use the pistol shot apparently. Oh, Land dude. Breadth from becoming unwound. Looks like that's just a guaranteed stun. Um, we gotta move back as much as it pains me. At the very least, now we're gonna be able to heal with her and attack with silver. That is, if we survive and... Oh, we're permanently stunned. Okay. Somebody needs to die. We did get the bleed. No chance at all almost to stun. Oh, we needed like a crit to happen there. Uh. Well, it's not very bad for us. Um, sure. Keep hitting him. He's gonna be dead in two turns. Oh, please don't die. Oh, that's Dora. don't have any bandages. <laughs> God damn you. Alright, so you're dead from the bleed. Cannot attack you. I guess we'll stress heal. Alright, let's heal our Jester. Denied. Get him off For death's now. door. We're permanently debuffed because of that, but... What are you gonna do? Only 7 damage! Why are you dealing so little damage, my dude? That That's good. Blow. Finally a good hit. You're gonna die as well. You're gonna die. Uh, let's just heal some stress. And give me a much needed heal as well. Is the weapon that cuts Actually, we own. shouldn't heal you because you got a healing debuff. Okay. Monstrous Ooh. size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Oh man, <laughs> oh man, oh man. Uh, <laughs> we're getting wrecked, but we're still alive. How much food do we have? We have enough for, like, a, a, a good camping. Of course, we gotta assume at this point that every camping will mean an ambush. Uh, because that's what's our exper what our experience has been like. So we're just gonna assume the worst case scenario that every time we camp we're gonna get ambushed. Uh, still, I think it's worth camping just for the HP gain. It's kind of the best way to gain lots of HP. Okay, so we got a room battle here. Uh, sure. We'll camp before. We're gonna spark without heal as much as we can. Goal without hope. It's a nice heal. We're, of course, super, uh, super fine in terms of stress. We're gonna heal whoever needs healing. I would maybe consider like a damage buff if we had a good one. Um, cannot heal yourself, but we'll heal silver. Uh, 
Pum 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 Mortality debuffs Now that, that's self only Not gonna be useful for us Prevents nighttime ambush eh, Pretty bad uh, Sorry, pretty good Minus 20% chance uh, Party surprised I think I might do that Why don't we do that? So, save ourselves the ambush. Uh, remove mortality. We'll do that. So we, we get rid of that nasty kind of um, debuff that we had from the Death Star. Let's go. In Radiance, may we find victory. So at least that's one way where we can... Let's not interact with that. Uh, at least that's one way we can prevent ambushes. Ah oh, man, that's kind of a, a mess, a gnarly hallway fight for us. Ooh, I do think we want to prioritize you, but this guy has stuns. I think we, we gotta go for the large corpse eater, as much as kind of sucks. Oh, nice! Uh, dude, oh, Bravo has been out of control with the crits. Fantastic. We could uh, go for like a speed buff, so extra speed. Extra accuracy, a little bit of extra crit chance, sure. They have way too much bleed resist, so... Uh, and also like stun resist. Very little damage coming from Silver today, actually. A little bit disappointed. Ball and chain is bad, but nice dodge, so that's the, the stun. That lands like 100% of the time, apparently. Uh, minus crit chance kind of sucks. Mm, not as much as I'd like. Sure, let's do this. A singular strike. It's like very little damage. <laughs> oh, we're making a dent onto them. Please just don't stun my guys. And we got stuck. Okay. Uh, kill. You really? You have one HP? God damn it. Okay, well, maybe like a grape shot blast. Their cursed champion falls. Alright, so only this guy, he's not too scary, but he's annoying as fuck, he's just stunning our guys. We cannot attack until we kill this. Alright, pistol shot. Gets us a little bit closer, but not really that much. So the speed buff is nice for us, because that means we'll generally get to attack before that guy. God damn it, man. Stop! Stop! Okay. Well, Silver is just kind of uselessly attacking the corpse forever. That guy is stunned forever. We're dealing kind of minimal damage. Alright, corpse is gone. You're gonna die on the next turn. But you're gonna attack us first. Alright, so, okay, let, let me get this straight, game. We have a plus three speed buff, but this guy gets the first turn in the battle. He has speed four, and we're rolling speed six. Can you explain to me why that guy gets the first hit in the fight? I'm sorry if it's a rant, but that just makes no sense to me. Okay, we're gonna heal. You're gonna die horribly. As the fiend falls. Or the fiend did I understand that incorrectly? Did he just get like the last turn of the prior turn? Maybe I'm a little confused. If so, I apologize. Either way, we got through the fight. Our HP is alright actually, on the front line at the very least. But we still have to go to the actual room fight. Make sure the, the light is where we want it. Yeah, it's a bad one. It's a bad one. 
Um, pretty bad. Oh, okay, so that guy is actually pretty tanky, but we want to get rid of him as soon as possible, so. Kind of the only way we have of dealing with him. Uh, the bleed is good. But I actually want to buff ourselves. See, see if the, like the buff kind of brilliant confluence of skill allows purpose. us to do our stuff before them. This is one time I'll like consider a stun. It's a 50-50 chance of stunning. Okay, we got it. Pretty lucky. Saves ourselves, uh, ourselves uh, like one attack. While we bring them down. Or rush. Oh man, that's so brutal. The move, the move attacks are just incredibly aggravating. Like the cost of a of a move attack like that is so huge. Not only do we get stunned, but we have to waste one turn moving into position two times. So that Bravo can, or one time at least. It's real bad. Uh, we gotta heal. There's no way around it. Oh, we're getting stunned again. Uh, we resist the stun at the very least. So yeah, um, just deal damage. That's all you can do. Like, this guy cannot be stunned. He's a god. It's like a, a, a bitch slap attack. It's kind of funny. Uh, your pistol shot. You can actually attack from the back. So, all things considered, is not too bad. Kind of close to killing that guy. Masterfully okay, so executed. It's not completely horrible. And actually, a judgment might kill you. Continue the onslaught. With a self-heal to boom. I do appreciate it. Minimal damage. Silver, give me one crit today, my dude. Come on. Nice resist. The bitch slap fails. Uh, we cannot attack the front line side. So there's a little bit of a bleed going, and again, minimal damage coming out is just brutal for us. Um, sure, we'll heal you. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Boar rush is brutal damage. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. And he's done. You're gonna die soon. Okay, my entire party is done. Great, fantastic. That's fine. Uh, is this just like damage? Is that really the best we can do? Oh my god, you're the worst cat. You're actually the worst. So you're stunned, but you're able to dodge the attack? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I guess I appreciate it, but... Uh, like a zealous accusation? Alright. Well, only one guy left. Come on. What are we doing here? What are we doing? You can actually do your attack, so... We're gonna move, because Cat kinda sucks. She misses all her attacks. We're just gonna move her where she can heal. No, don't attack him. Oh, thank God. Please don't kill my dudes. Give me one crit, Silver. One crit. Let's go! Bravo is, is the man here we can rely on. And we missed... Okay. That's that's fine. It's not as if you're literally hanging on by a thread. You know, no Death pressure to land escape. your attacks. 
but it can be postponed. Uh, Silver gets bitch slapped and stunned. Fantastic. You're dead. The okay. bigger the beast, bitch is dead. The greater the glory. Uh, we have no room for that shit. Um, I guess we'll let go of that. Hey, quest completed. Uh, let's maybe just check out this thing. Doesn't look like it will give us anything good. Let's get out of here. Okay. Some experiments should have never. Guess what? Happened. We completed you a quest. Are doing just work, <laughs> ending them. And nobody even died. Um, quite a bit of gold, actually. Seems pretty positive. Some deeds, some uh, portraits, much needed confidence, and some levels. What do we have? Thin blooded is bad, so blight resists is bad. Uh, these are pretty decent. Ooh. Minus accuracy, so Cat now has the rabies. So even when she gets a positive trait, it's like a negative one. <laughs> uh, she's got like an archetype going. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay. Well, some good stuff happened while we were away. And we're looking good in cash at the very least, so we can, uh, we can sponsor quite a bit of missions here. Well, that went well. I, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know down below if you did. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.